what's going on guys this is like my attempt day number three trying to start vlogging again I've actually been back from dr for like a week yeah actually a week now just getting into it you know you got you get on vacation mode you kind of forget to do stuff right um but we're back we're what are we in like day 22 23 of our cut about to go in do some back some chest kill it about to down this pre-work guys i always do in the car and now the cut starts getting real. We start getting on point with our macros. We start throwing in cardio, which is kind of what I want to talk to you guys today. What I'm kind of just doing to implement my cut slowly. Cause like I always tell you guys, slow and steady is how you cut. It's not like all at once you want to drop it. So I just dropped the macros a little bit, up the cardio, well, threw in cardio. But enough of that. Let me get this pre-workout down and we'll go over everything in a little bit. Something, bro. You got a little tag, you gotta be on top, man. My stickers are getting lean. You got a you got a ro rotisserie chicken out there? <laughs> that rotisserie chicken? Sus skin? Time, you know? <laughs> I'm back with the leaner. Yeah, you got that DR uh tan for real. That Caribbean I see it in your back. Yeah, you can see it more in your back. Moreno. <laughs> <laughs> We all put in work here. We got my pops going back, my uncle as well. Get that range of motion. <laughs> Everybody's favorite time, cardio. Been kind of just starting with the bike, simply because usually like my legs are the first thing to go. And you see these bikes, the cyclist guys, their legs are freaking crazy. So I figured there must be something to it. All right, hopefully not lose my leg size as soon as I start cutting because the, the stair master I feel like just kind of kills it. But just gonna do simple 150 calories. Just doing right now 150 three times a week, and then doing every other rest day. Come in do hit abs cardio stuff like that so that's kind of just how I'm doing my first week of like this cut and then of course we just slowly start increasing the intensity the last thing you want to do is just go all in on one right so you don't want to start doing as much cardio as you can right from the beginning yeah you'll lose a shitload of weight but it's gonna be a lot of water weight and glycogen stores so that's not what we're trying to do we're trying to lose body fat so it's slow and steady is how you win that race and that's what we're doing now so I'm gonna just do 150 calories here um, then I'm gonna go train a client real quick and I'll probably see you guys with what I'm eating and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about what I did as far as macros go, what I dropped, etc. So I'll see you guys 
back home. Bam, all right, and back home, warming up the food really quick, about to have a good whole meal, carbs, protein, low fat, post workout, and of course, a good old two scoops of isolate, cooking and cream, still my favorite. Birthday cake is really good too, but right now, I'm on a cookies and cream kick. Just gonna do two scoops. Way past the anabolic window. Ended up training this dude for a little bit. All right, and let me show you guys what we'll be having now. Bam, of course, some red beans, some chicken, and white rice, which we're gonna accompany with good old banana. I did not know people thought eating a banana with rice and beans was weird. I've been eating banana with rice and beans my whole life. And yeah, so we're gonna just down this real quick, have my protein, still have a bunch of macros left. It's 8.30, haven't eaten much throughout the day, just like post-workout, pre-workout cereal, Little bag of M&M's. So I um, still got a lot of macros left. I'm gonna talk to you guys about macros after this meal and how you guys can kind of set your macros up, what my macros are. And yeah, but let's get this post-workout meal in. Boom. All right guys, what's going on? Back at my desk really quick, getting some work done, client updates and stuff. But like I said, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I kind of figured, tweaked with my macros, tweaked with everything, how you guys can do it so yourself. Uh, so last update, I told you guys I dropped the carbs by 50. Um, and then didn't, wasn't doing any cardio. So now this week we throw the cardio in. I'm not touching my macros just because I was away last week as you guys know. I did drop a little bit more than I wanted to so I'm gonna give myself another week to kind of stick with these macros and then see from there. Um, I weighed in at 179. Last time I weighed myself like two days ago and I wanna, coming down from 186. So that's a little bit quick in a two week span. So and that tells me I dropped a little bit too quick. Of course I was away, I wasn't eating as much. But what you guys can do and how I recommend it is pretty much if you're tracking macros come down maybe like 50 carbs, maybe 5 fats, 10 fats, depending how aggressive you want to get with it. Um, last thing you want to do is just completely drop everything because all you're going to do, it, yeah, you're going to lose weight, but you're not really losing fat, right? You're losing glycogen store, blah, blah, water weight. So yeah, then you'll see the number come down, but not in the best way, right? So the main goal is not weight loss, it's fat loss right so big, big difference between the two there um if you don't track macros which whatever you know you should be um main thing you want to do is just slowly cut back you don't want to just be like all right you know it's time to get on um, my on point summer's almost coming i gotta only eat clean this is the third low calorie i'm not gonna eat out anymore this it's only gonna be so long before you fall off the horse right so if you let's say you go out to eat four times a week, right? You eat out, you go grab McDonald's or whatever the case is. Slowly just cut it back. Instead of four times, do one, three times, two times. Um, do try to switch over to cleaner foods. Even though I hate using that word. Um, just kind of like if you're used to eating like greasy, nasty, high sodium food, slowly cut it out a little bit. Typically, you know, eat more home cooked meal, more just broiled chicken, rice, beans, or whatever you guys are into. Uh, that's kind of just I do, but I of course do track my macros. Um, but yeah, so again, don't go too hasty in what you're doing. Make sure you're doing a nice and slow, slow and steady rinse the race. Um, slowly implement cardio. If you're not doing any cardio at all, I do right away typically recommend you guys do cardio maybe four times a week, 150 calories. Always track the calories burned, not so much the minutes because one day you'll feel like shit and burn 200 calories in 30 minutes. The next time you'll feel great, burn 400. Just a lot of variation between those two. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Take my tips on making sure you're doing body fat loss instead of just weight loss. And stay tuned. We're just getting heavy into this cut. I want to give you guys everything, all the details, bring you guys along with me on my cut. And I think we're like 10 weeks out. So stay tuned. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Peace. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get used to that. Remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, man, give us a subscribe.